Dobar dan svima, ja sam Dušan, nalazimo se ispred objekta Big Potatos, odnosno Potatos je naziv. Otvoren je, lokal je otvoren 6. septembra i od tada veoma dobro radimo i trudimo se da budemo sve bolji i bolji. Koncept potiče neko kaže iz Turske, neko iz Engleske, neko iz Brazila, ali sve to zanemarujemo. Zato što je ovo sve srpsko i iz Srbije i krompir i sve što stavljamo u krompir, tako da nas i ne interesuje odakle cela priča, samo nas zanima da dajemo dobre krompire i da ljudi budu zadovoljni i da se najedu, jer kad se najedu svi su srećni i vraćaju nam se i sve je super. My name is Marko Miličević. I cook, I travel, I eat, and my motto is always ask for more. Good day everybody, Belgrade again, spring is not here yet, however the winter is still here, so again new day, new place to eat, something new and interesting, something not so healthy, and uh, talking about not so healthy, do you remember this guy? That is Let's eat some loaded taters! Ah! <laughs> There is a wonderful, there is a wonderful story about potatoes in Serbia. Uh, they were uh, like 150 years ago. Marko, you will correct me if I'm if I'm mistaken. More than 200. More than something. 200 or something years ago in Serbia, they were considered devil's fruit. One of devil's fruit because they are they uh, they are being dug out from the ground up. Uh, little did Serbs know that. Uh, it is quite the opposite. I'm not a very religious person myself, but there are a few okay. things. There are a few things on earth I consider holy, and potatoes are one of them. Uh, in this case, uh, today we are eating loaded potatoes uh, from a lovely, lovely spot in Belgrade called Baked Potatoes. Uh, I mean, there, there is no need to get any more creative than that. Make potatoes, and people will come, as you can witness from from Marco's shots. When we talk about loaded potatoes, we don't go into extremes, in theory. But then we came here, and we saw like 20, 20 thousand additional additional stuff that you can put on loaded potatoes, uh, like uh, chvarci, duvan chvarci. That is uh, that is a, a famous Serbian uh, version of chicharrones in in Spain or Mexico. Please don't hate me if I'm. If I mispronounce that, uh, Kaimak, uh, bacon, Kulen, uh, famous, famous, famous uh, chorizo from from Vojvodina. Uh, mushrooms, uh, ten different salads, corn, uh, eggs, uh, of course, uh, of course, cheese. There is no, there is no good meal without cheese. And. This is, this is where I'm going to stop, because I'm quite afraid of what comes next. We are going to take our orders now, and I hope it will be a bit milder than the last time we ate together, because you remember how that ended. Now, of course, you know it's not going to happen. Talking about food and things, stuffings, condiments you could put in your potato. Take a look at this.
I mean, I, I, I'm willing to, I'm willing to ignore the bird shit on this table. Yeah, <laughs> just, just go for it. They like it. Mm. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure. You look divine with the I, I light look. behind your head. Thank you. It's not, you know, I'm, it's not me who is divine right now. It's the food. It's the food. So basically, this is the dish I tried first time in Istanbul a couple of years ago. And they did as well. And they wanted to bring a piece of Istanbul here. I believe it's called kumpir in, in Turkey. So it's a baked potato sliced, cut open, mixed with uh, cheese and butter. Butter makes everything better. Everything. And then you can add a lot of whatever. Whatever thing, whatever you want, you can add to it. I mean, there, there is a sense of exploration right now because we, I, I mean, he, he dug in pretty deeply yeah. already, but I'm still to reach the potato itself. The potato is here mostly a vessel yeah. for 20 other things. And there are salads, uh, spicy salads, spicy tomato, corn, uh, pancetta. More butter. More butter, yes. And uh, like I mentioned before, uh, chvatsi. Like a strange sort of chvatsi, which I like to compare with the Spanish chicharrones. Yeah. But there it is. It is different there. It's more, I mean, it's more accented towards fat, but it's delicious nonetheless. Oh, I read the potato. It's great. Holy crap. It's delicious. It's not a heavy. It's not. It's not heavy at all. When you see it, you expect a calorie bomb. It will I mean, haunt you. This is a calorie this bomb. This is a calorie bomb, but it's really, in some way, it is light. It, it, it is really a nice experience of eating after which you won't feel guilty for the entirety of the day or week. And say something. Mm. I made a small mistake because I was afraid that uh, uncooked bacon or pancetta will not go well with this. I it mean, goes, goes amazing. I mean, it goes amazing. Everything, everything it's goes chewy. Well with it. it's, it's chewy. Great. Yeah. It gets texture. Yeah. <laughs> you have something and chewy. variety. It's wonderful. You have enough fat, you have enough freshness with this uh, tomato sauce. Yeah, and I cannot stress this enough, really. And, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't feel bad while I'm eating this. This is a complete meal. Yeah, it looks messy. Yeah, it's made messy, but the best things in life are. are messy. And you probably eat a part of your, your fork. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I must kill myself. It would be worth it. It's really good. Better. What a wonderful experience. Amazing. I mean, this is Brilliant. this was really, really good experience. And I know we are already repeating ourselves too much, but in, in, in this case. I really can say with certainty that this is one of those fast food joints that after which you can, I mean, play football, basketball, whatever, you can go running, jogging, I mean, whatever. as you can see, we're walking fast. We're walking quite fast. <laughs> so it's a good thing. It's a really, really good thing. thing. And the most important thing, I don't believe it can be classified as a fast food. Uh, yeah, it's not a junk food. It's not, it's not junk food. It's nothing like junk food. It's really something, it's a, it's a delicacy. Exactly. That is that can be eaten uh, in any 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 part of the day on any occasion. I mean, if you are if you are drunk at 3 a.m., you you can eat it, of course. But this can be a perfect breakfast. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is a perfect breakfast with in, in 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 all 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 of its all all its glory. I mean, I know. all its glory <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, as I promised you last time, we're gonna Alexei and I we're gonna start this. Fast and junk food tours. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing something. We're going to do something different. I mean, there, there is a, a couple of streets in Belgrade. That how how could we call them? I mean, hunger at, games. Hunger, <laughs> hunger, <laughs> hunger alleys. Uh, alleys of famine. I mean, I, I, I don't know what what type of, of name could be fitting 
because it's 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 something different. It's really filled with bunch of fast food joints and junk food joints, uh, and yeah, are absolutely not healthy. It, food. It's not health, healthy food, but but as you can see, we are more than will, willing to sacrifice to <laughs> sacrifice ourselves. <laughs> For uh, for your knowledge about these and amusement, because, because and amusement, amusement, of course, because there are really some fast food gems out there, and and you will see it could be it could be a compilation of many different stuff, and it, I really hope that we're going to survive that. I, th I think we should do dare as well, I mean, find something <laughs> new, chicken chicken feet or something. Chicken like that. feet dares? Yeah. Why why the hell not? I, I I've done it. I've done it before. I mean, it, it wasn't it wasn't pleasant, but I. It's but not I'm supposed to be pleasant. It's not supposed to be pleasant. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? It's for amusement. So, if you have any ideas what disgusting things we should try, you can write down in the comment. Yeah. And the lovely sound you hear is the sound of Melbourne public transport. Fancy. <laughs> so once again. Thank you for being here while you can be home enjoying yourself. <laughs> Subscribe, like, whatever, follow us. We're going to do some crazy, crazy stuff in the future. Uh, actually, we are here to negotiate our next level of craziness. So, yeah, we're going to talk about it some other time. See you around. Cheers. All the best, guys. <laughs>